Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and uh, what I'm going to share with you today is something actually pretty special, pretty special. This, uh, my friends, is a fly fishing rod and travel case. Uh, this company reached out to me and said, Ryan, do you like fishing? Do you like fishing? Because if you do, we'd love for you to give us an overview of our fly rod. Who am I to say no, but in no way whatsoever this being provided to me affects this review, because I'm just here to keep it real. So, first and foremost, this is the case it comes in. Uh, pretty lightweight. You have an adjustable strap here. From a travel standpoint, you have a little travel case here, uh, and then it zips up nice and neat. It is a hard case. This is not something you can bend, at least not bend easily. Uh, it is a hard case, and inside is all the stuff nice and neat. This comes in not one, not two, not three, not four, but five pieces. Now, at first you're thinking, five pieces for a 78 foot uh, graphite fly rod, yes, but the tip, uh, there is a, a extra tip section. So uh, the tip section here, which looks like this, is identical. It is identical. So if, I guess, uh, my assumption, my assumption is if you happen to be one of those folks where, um, you know, stuff breaks easily, you have a spare tip uh, that fits nice and neat into the case. Uh, the material, this is, uh, I mean, so it takes a lot to impress me. And from a fisherman perspective, this is legit. I mean, I was just like, this is pretty nice. Um, this particular one is a uh, Aventic and it's eight foot six inches. This is the LW4-4SEC. Very, very legit. Now this is a uh, fly rod. This is a, um, a lightweight action, light action. Kind of highlight some things here for you. Close examination of the old handle here. This is a uh, cork handle. Oh yes, the smell of fresh cork. This is some nice. <laughs> this is. I've had a lot of uh, uh, fishing rods in my hand, and this thing is nice. Uh, I'm I. I'm, I'm actually, I'm very surprised. I don't know if you can kind of get that from me. Uh, it takes me a lot. It takes a lot to get me this excited about fishing gear, but this is pretty nice. So a close-up examination of the guide. So it has a, uh, a lure guide here, a fly guide. So when you have it all hooked up, you can connect your fly there and have it all nice and neat close-up examination of the wrapping and the uh, the coating that's on it. Gives you the size there. The guides on it are really nice. Kind of give you a close-up of the guides there. Very, very nice. So that's your first guide. And then your second guide looks like this. All the other guides look like that. All the way down to the tip. This is the uh, seat mount for the reel. You can see it's got the little notch right there and that's where it's gonna go in. You have some branding right here. Stalker seat uh, uh, mount. You have the piece that slides down that holds, that holds the reel in and then it tightens down like this. Now, from an example standpoint, this is not a, uh, so don't, don't, don't go crazy on me. This is obviously not a fly reel, but just so you can see how it's actually mounted, it's a compression mount, as most are on fly rods, slides in there, and then you have your double screw right here to cinch it on nice and tight. Kind of shows you the base and the quality of this. Just overall, I, I mean, very impressive. Now, because this is made out of graphite carbon fiber, this rod uh, with just the one tip, so not the spare tip, just the whole rod, the four pieces together, only weighs 3.1 ounces. So this is extremely lightweight, um, which, you know, if you're going for that and having that type of action, 3.1 ounces in this total assembly um, is quite light. And from a strength standpoint, um, carbon graphite is, is a very durable type material, uh, lightweight. 
and um, has some very, very good action uh, when it comes to getting the cast on. Now, one other thing that you might be interested in knowing is completely unassembled. The length is right at 27 inches long for all of these pieces. And when they are in the tube, the tube sealed up has a length of 29 inches. So 29 inches total length. And this is about three inches you know, this way. Um, so if you're looking for, if you're looking for, uh, I would say a very impressive, a very impressive, I mean, it, it just, just, it just looks nice. You know, personally, I'm all about, does it do what it's supposed to do? Does it catch fish? Does it cast the way I want it to cast? Does it lay the, uh, the fly where I want it to lay? Um, but all those things aside, it's just a very nice, well-made, uh, looks like all the quality and craftsmanship in this is, is actually just really nice. It's very, very nice. I don't normally say that about fishing gear because I am very particular about the old fishing gear. Um, and having a travel case, I mean, having a travel case and a spare tip because if something crazy happens, you got that. Um, so I don't think you can go wrong with this in my personal opinion. For what's that uh, worth, hopefully I answered any potential questions you might have about this particular fly rod and travel case. Best efficient, and we'll tie you soon.